Hello everyone. Hello. Good morning. Greg Ross. Greg Ross here. It's the 30th of March 2023 and I just got a call this morning that there was a rat in one of my customers traps which we keep on her back porch under her bird feeder where we regularly catch rats. So I went around and sure enough <clears throat> not just one rat but one very big rat and <clears throat> they don't come much bigger than this guy a girl whatever she is i think it's a girl no it's a it's a male it's a male that's exactly how he got caught you see he's in one of those uh one of the plastic bait bait plate traps called the victor professionals and I can't fit a bait cup over the top of those plates, they're too big. But what I do is I put nails. Oops, so big. I put nails in right around the perimeter of the bait plate so he's stuck on properly skewered on two nails. One there and one there. Big rat. And the other thing is. He was caught inside one of these uh, <clears throat> trap protectors. You buy them at the dollar store, about a buck fifty each, and uh, they've got little handle holes. What I do is I enlarge the handle hole a little bit so the rat doesn't have to work. I'm sure the rat could get through the standard handle hole, but I make it like snip a bit out with some tin snips just to make it easy I don't like to make my rats work too hard I want them to get the bait really easily and uh, little things like that they all help just a bit but when you put them all together you catch the rat so I snip a little enlarge the handle holes a little bit on these and then when I set the trap I put a trap down and then put that on top with a rock or a brick or something heavy and you don't actually have to anchor the trap then because it's contained inside there and the rat just flips around in there. Usually when you catch the rat like this time you see the tail sticking out the back like that which is exactly how I found it this morning. And I just grabbed the trap. I put actually put two traps there today because it's springtime here and we often get a wave, a fresh wave of rats in the spring because they're out and about. There's suddenly food out there. It's a lot warmer. And the young ones have a much higher survival rate from March onwards into the spring and summer. So we often get a, a bit of a wave of rats in the spring. And then the major, major wave in the autumn when they're all trying to get inside buildings. But that's a nice kill. And um, I think actually these style of traps work best inside these. The, my standard Victor with the bait cup. Uh, I don't think they work quite so well inside these boxes as these because the rat actually has to come at it from the front of the bait cup trap and he doesn't have much room inside here. Here he can come from any angle and uh, get at the bait so I just decided that today. Here's a new innovation. I haven't really thought about it before now but from now on when I set a box on top of a trap I'm always going to use those plastic bait trap because they work really well and I think they work better in here than the uh, metal bait cup ones do. So that's a new uh, development that I've just adopted today. From now on always use the plastic bait plate traps inside these boxes if, if they happen to be handy of course. The other ones will work but I think these work just a little bit better. Okay, so that's a nice big rat, and she doesn't want rats on her property, and uh, so that's that problem resolved. And thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for supporting and subscribing, and thanks for buying a copy of the Rat Trapper's Handbook, available only from Amazon. Good trapping, everyone. <clears throat>